Hello, my name is Michael Bass. I'm a visual artist living here in Inglewood, California. I'm part of an exhibit at LAX called uh, Out of Thin Air. And um, one of the things I just love about like this exhibit is that this is a group of uh, LA artists curated by Ginger Van Hook in regards to about this concept about Out of Thin Air and also about being in Los Angeles. Uh, being a longtime resident in the Los Angeles area, uh, I think LA is one of the most dynamic places around. Uh, there's people, cultures, there's all kind of, I mean, you can find almost every culture here in Los Angeles. It's a truly international city, even though the city don't, don't even realize it. And I love all the different flavors when I go over from, when I go from to, to Watts, Willowbrook, Compton area, then I'll go to the west side, Santa Monica, then I go to Beverly Hills, then I go to Valley, then I go to downtown. Then I go to, you know, uh, up to San Pedro, Wilmington. So it's just like, it is so diverse and you get all kinds of flavors of folks. And I think it's really wonderful. I love being here. And of course, the sunshine is always great. And uh, one of the things that, uh, that inspired me is, uh, as growing up here in Los Angeles is not only those things, but also to how, when I create work, how does it impact me? A lot of time it impacts me through people I meet, uh, the places that I go to, and the events that happen. Uh, sometimes I would do historical things. As a kid growing up, I would hear stories growing up and I want to kind of like have questions about so I might do a piece on. Sometimes I would do some things on my family about growing up here in LA and then also how I was rooted back into the rest of the country. And then also too, there's, there's issues that would come up in regards to like what it is to be just a, a human being, a person, like feelings, thoughts, and fears, and, and trying to get an understanding as far as like, you know, how to create, you know, and, and, and why I'm here, the purpose and stuff. So all those things go in my mind when I'm thinking about like, I'm going to create something, something out of my hands, something out of my mind, something out of my heart, that gives me something that, you know, was almost a, a hard to explain sometimes, you know, and, and I kind of feel like, wow, this is like, gives me freedom, you know, and, uh, and that's something that I want to share with the world. Uh, not only when I'm with the work that I create, but also if I'm, you know, just talking with someone or working in the teaching situation or wherever it is, because it's sort of like the world needs more of that of us creating with our own minds and our own spirits and our own souls. Because when we do that, I think we're more in touch, more sensitive and more open to different ideals and stuff. And, and I just truly believe that. I mean, that that's the case that works for me, you know. And so in that regards, one of the things for this show, uh, I wanted to uh, work with the idea of what it's like to be, I mean, the air. And I so I wanted to have a piece of work that was going to be reflective of, like, we feel the air, you know, and then, but we don't really see it. But what if you could see it, you know? So I decided to include a piece called uh, Love Supreme which is a piece right here by a friend of mine named Dwight Tribble, who's a local singer. He's a wonderful singer. And there's a lot of people out here all the time, but his voice is like an instrument. And he has this range when he sings that to a point like, it just like, it's just amazing. And so when I was working on this piece on him, I was thinking about what would it, what it be like if you can see the, uh, the sound, you know, or, or feel the sound of the voice. And what kind of colors would it be? What kind of feeling you would get? And so this is why I wanted to kind of like have this piece included in the show because not only it's, it's about those feelings, but also it's, it's also about LA, you know, about local people living, growing, and growing. So that's my work and that's my piece. And thank you.